What's up guys, this is Osas from iOS Softmodder and today I'm going to be showing you how to make transparent icons so that you can A, organize your apps in different ways than the standard left to right 4 and 4 or just have invisible icons that just look cool. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to want to change our background to something that's pretty plain and can be pretty um, easy to replicate. So we're just going to go into settings and then I'll just show you the whole thing. Settings, wallpaper and brightness, tap on it. Um, I would prefer you guys to use the Apple wallpapers because these these ones are going to be pretty easy to take a screenshot of and then to have a transparent background because it's similar to just one color. Obviously if you use one of these it'll be a little harder but choose whatever you want. I chose the black one and then we're just going to set it as our home screen. And so next we're going to want to take a screenshot so let's tap and hold any icon. Go to the empty page, take a screenshot so that's the top button and the home button. I'll take it like that. We can press the home button again to get out of the toggle mode. And then we're going to go into Safari. It has to be done on your phone. So we're going to, and it has to be in Safari. So we go to Safari and we're going to go to iempty.telephone.net. The link is there and it's also in the full tutorial. So just make sure to check that out. On the home page, we're going to scroll down to customize. We're going to tap on that. It'll take us to this page. You would think to hit transparent mode, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to hit custom mode. You hit custom mode, it'll take you here, and then it says add. So we're going to add the screenshot we just took. So we'll tap add. And then we're going to go to choose file. Choose existing. Camera roll right here. There it is. And then hit upload. and then it'll load and then here um, you can choose where it will go so if you have an empty page it'll be the first row first column or if you tap on 4x4 four four, it'll be obviously the fourth row fourth column so for just for purposes of now I'll just do the one by one we'll tap on that It'll load in this next page, it'll tell you, okay, you're, it's going to be in row one, column one. That's if you have an empty page. If you have a page with half full stuff, it'll go there, just where the, the first opening is. So I'll show you that. Whoops. You don't want to click tap here because it just takes you to some stupid page. So we're going to go, and we are going to actually add it to the home screen. So once you get to this page, you're going to tap this button. and then click add to home screen you should get a little preview of what it'll look like you obviously want to leave the name empty since you want it to be invisible basically and then you can hit return or add so I'll just hit return and it's actually added and since I have this page of just four it goes right here you can barely see it but it'll just go to the first open space now if you want to start organizing it in a cool way, you can actually just go back. This is why we bookmarked it. You can go back to Safari, and you can actually just cap, tap backwards, backwards, backwards until you get to the beginning and do it all over again. So we can just go to Customize. We're going to do Custom Mode again. Um, and since it already has my um, photo saved I can just go directly here I'll do one by two this time it'll take me to here again add to home screen return now I have two and the cool thing about this is now instead of just having four icons like it always is you can actually start dragging and put it right here drag this here oops cancel just kidding and then you can um, continue to add. So if you wanted just a straight line, you would obviously have to add empty icons here, 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 here. But as you can see, it's kind of cool. It's no longer just in the standard grid. You can continue to add um, and create your own little custom home screen. 
So that's really how you do it. You can just go back to your bookmarks or just go back to your Safari browser and continue to add until you're satisfied with your home screen. So that's how you add um, transparent apps icons to your phone. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on iOS SoftMutter. Thanks, guys.